What's Hot This Week? Hi everyone, welcome to our episode 3 of Dania and Val's What's Hot This Week, woo! Alright, so last week we talked a lot about Singapore and Sarawak and while there has been more developments on that, um, the fact that Sarawak is stepping up now and reviving its tourism economy by inviting Singapore to establish a VTL with them either through Mili or Kuching. These are small towns in Sarawak but with its own international airport. So they're trying to like get more visitors to come in um, to revive its tourism industry. And now um, we're seeing that our states are stepping up to inviting foreign countries to come in, which is great. So seeing that there's an increase in travelers, um, in local travelers between Malaysians, um, is very encouraging for the state and they are quite excited for the VTL with Brunei that we talked about last week. So if you'd like to know a bit more about that, then we suggest you to click on episode 2 to hear more about their possibly established VTL, the Vaccinated Travel Lane with Brunei. We are quite excited. We heard that the neighboring state of Sabah is also quite excited to um, welcome Brunei tourists back in. So um, tourism galore for Malaysia. Woo! And then next, speaking of Singapore, um, just, just today actually, it has been reported that um, Penang in Singapore is establishing its own VTL. Starting March 16, so flights will be available from the March of 16th. Um, we hope you look forward to uh, low budget airlines, maybe such as Air Asia or Malaysia Airlines, and keep a lookout on the VTL flights, which you will have about four flights per day. So I guess they, may, they might do morning, afternoon, evening, or midnight, or midnight, and all this. So there's only four flights per day. So keep a lookout for those who are keen to visit Penang, you know, the UNESCO heritage site of Georgetown, Penang, so whoever who is excited to visit Malaysia from Singapore, we encourage you to keep track of airlines, you know, go on their Facebook and keep track of any promos or tickets that will go on sale between Singapore and Penang. So, no quarantine upon arrival, which is great news for everybody here. I'm glad that the, uh, you know, between both governments, we have agreed that we will recognize each other's uh, vaccinated passports, which is what's happening with Malaysia, Thailand. Um, so, the late of February, our Prime Minister, Datuk Sri Ismail Sabri, had a three day visit to Thailand um, to establish a VTL called Test and Go. Um, this is where we are encouraging for Thailand to open its checkpoints up north. Uh, this is where we are up north and their international airports. And we hope that um, visitors will be excited to visit Thailand again, whoever who's excited to go to Krabi Islands or Bangkok um, and all this. Uh, so there will be an established VTL very, very soon. There's no date to it yet, if I'm not mistaken. Um, however, keep a lookout. A lot of news sources are saying it might be next month, but there's no official date yet. Maybe next week there will be more developments and we will be sure to report it. But of course, as with any other countries, you will have to pass a two RT-PCR test. Um, if I'm not mistaken, you have to do one before your flight, one on the very first day uh, in Thailand, and then you'll have to do another one again in a in about two three days in the span of two to three days you have to do another one and all of them will have to be negative or else you will have to be quarantined um, so if you are planning on visiting Thailand we suggest you have at least two weeks of holiday break uh, to visit the country because of these two PCR test kits so it might be positive might be negative you have to do one and then you have to do two so Keep that in mind, um, if you're looking for SOPs, maybe go visit Tourism Thailand's uh, website, Thailand Tourism um, Facebook for more info, they might have infographics on that, so be sure to keep a lookout. I'm sure Malaysian news sources have reported on them as well in the Bahasa language for those who are, uh, for those who prefer the more, um, you know, local language instead of the English language. So a lot of people have been reporting that and a lot of people and there's been a few mixed reactions in the comments with the netizens. Some are excited to visit Thailand and some, you know, they're not too happy with the two PCR test kits they have to do. Um, so yes, keep that in mind. Have at least two weeks if you'd like to go to Thailand. Next, 
on the more international side, uh, so for beach goers, this is probably for you. Indonesia will be implementing its pilot project uh, starting with the resort islands in Bali. Now we all know Bali is amazing for its sceneries, its beaches, top destination for Westerners, even maybe even Malaysians themselves. Um, but yes, they are doing this pilot project just like how Malaysia did its pilot project with Langkawi uh, last year in October, November. So Indonesia is trying to test this out. It might um, happen from March 14th, but it is highly dependent on the COVID trend in the country. So if the COVID trend is going down, they might start earlier than March 14th, but if it is going up, then it might start later. So keep that in mind. For foreign travelers, um, you will have to show proof of your resort bookings with a minimum stay of four days. Uh, so far, this is the only info that we got, but you have to show your proof of bookings and um, there will be no quarantine upon arrival if I'm not mistaken. Alright, well that's it for this week. For Malaysians out there, there's been a lot of events happening around the KL city. There's, there's a lot of events happening. So we'd like you to you know, go back to your local Facebook pages who are reporting such events and help support the local craftspeople, the local tourism operators in you know, reviving back their business. So just now, uh, my colleague and I went to the craft complex craft uh, in KL uh, in conjunction with craft day if I'm not mistaken. So we did a little bath day, we did a little uh, bucket tie dye which is very fun. It's a lot of fun. Um, it ends on the 7th of March so KL people if you happen to see this video we suggest you to go visit that. Um, there's also the Rumah Haji Abu Suman or the Rumah Abu Suman where um, it shows the history of the you know, kampung houses and all. Very very interesting it's around the area we hope you get to go visit these and support local crafts people. Otherwise have a great weekend and we hope you look forward for our next episode. Bye!